What's up, y'all? What's happening, man? Look, man, I got to comment on this. Man. I, I just got to say something about it. So, uh, Charleston White, I like Charleston White. I've been watching Charleston White before he blew. When he was just on the, on the, going live, talking to dudes, talking about how dudes need to be out the street, how they daddy been in jail, and how you don't want to do what your daddy did, and blah, 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 blah. And, like, we were around the same age. So, Charleston actually worked with kids in the school system and all this kind of stuff. And he tried to keep kids out of the penitentiary. So I see Charles look at stuff from a different angle. Now, I guess trying to do that, that, that line of work was not making a lot of money. So he's trying to get into the entertainment room. Once he started going viral for talking to them kids, because remember, he's talking a real bad disrespect for kids. I'm talking about the kids that go to turning school, juvenile, all that kind of stuff. That's the kids he worked with all the time. And he actually was trying to save them, right? I got a little spring right here. He actually trying to save them. And they they fighting just trying not to save themselves. So it was entertaining and stuff because these little kids didn't care nothing about going crazy talking to adults, right? So that's why I started watching Charles and White because I saw he had good in his message. Even though he was in a, in a toxic environment, he was still trying to help them kids. Um, why he was talking crazy with him, he was still trying to help. And then he started talking about his character stuff, and he is a character. Like, these rappers, this is a character. It's not really them. It's a persona that they have. And he started saying he wanted to be a comedian, and this was kind of like his act. So what I didn't like about what Charleston had to say about Coach Prime and Shadur, when you're going to say put a hit out, he said, I should. He didn't say, I, I will. He said I should. So that's one thing you got to look at. And uh, the other part about it is he was like, nobody ain't rude. He's a damn Dion. Nobody ain't one rooting for these little, little league coaches. Well, when Dion was a little league coach, nobody wasn't rooting for him. When Dion was a high school coach, he was recording it. Like, Dion been working on this for a while. He was recording when he was in high school, but people weren't rooting for Dion then either. Like, Dion was spending money out of his own pocket trying to get sponsors and stuff to help. That's why Dion is so special because he had been working on how to build and how to get money without always spending all his own money, how to get sponsors to help him do some of the things he wanted to do. Because when you're trying to spend all your own money, it's draining already your energy and then it's draining your pockets. You burn out. So Prime has been doing this for a while and People weren't cheering for him when he went on the big stage. Hell, people weren't cheering for him when he was at Jackson for real. So, I know. I know because I was cheering and there was a lot of people wanting him to lose. They wanted him to play Alabama to lose. I'm like, why y'all want Jackson to play Alabama? Because cause Dion lose. I'm like, what the fuck you want him to lose for, man? So, it's a lot of people have hated on Dion. Now Dion is finally starting to get a lot of pub because he did a crossover. Y'all know how it is once you cross over when black people rock with you and white people rock with you and Mexicans. Like Dion did the, did the deal now. He brought Mexicans in. He got a Mexican kicker. Like he got a Mexican translator, all that kind of stuff when he was at Jackson. So Dion hitting all three cultures. And he got a, a guy on his team from London. He got another country rocking with him. Like y'all got to understand what well, Dion got a master plan. So, for Charles to kind of come at him, Charleston, to come at him the way he did, I'm like, bro, you don't have to do this. They from Texas. You from Texas. I'm to my Dion's kids. Like, this ain't the route. Love, if you notice how much love Dion show people, that brings in more, it, more hype. Love is better than, than hate and, and, and just turmoil and all that kind of stuff it gets you views it gets you a viral video maybe but it's not long lasting love lasts for a long time if you show somebody love they can see you 10 15 years down down the on road and they be like hey man you good you straight you need something blah 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 because it's that genuine love there so charleston man hey mend that up apologize i really you need to do a real apologize to Dion because instead of fighting with him and, and doing this you could be trying to set up shows and doing stuff with Jackson and doing stuff for the swag and maybe even 
Yeah, you can't do no show in Colorado. You too wild. But for the swag, you could have did comedy shows all through there. And then would have knew who to hook you up with to get you going. Like, and then, like you said, he ain't hard to find. He'll work with people, man. He about helping people elevate. You know what I'm saying? He want to motivate and elevate. And so it's like, come on, bro. Come on, Charles. You on, you going up. You going up, bro. You don't, don't do that and take yourself down, man. Dion got too many people like loving what he doing right now. You going to, uh, that's, that ain't, that ain't a good, that ain't no big, I mean, a good uh, fight you want to pick right now. Leave that alone, Charles. I, I support all y'all, man. Just uh, do the right thing, man. Love, man. Love, love. Especially if nobody did you wrong. Them Sanders ain't did nothing to you, Charles. So cut that out, man. Bees.